When applying paint or thermoplastic to surfaces, you really ought to be sure that the surface is properly prepared. It's long been advocated that surfaces be prepared by either water blasting, shot blasting, sand blasting, some kind of cleaning process. There's no cleaning process more effective than water blasting. Take a look here. These pictures came from Gary Gerendale from Denver International Airport and you can clearly see paint markings applied at the very same time, but the surfaces you see, the darker surfaces, have been prepped with water blasting prior to painting. Now in this picture, there were actually markings that were removed by water blasting and thereby the surfaces were actually cleaned in preparation for new markings. But you can see here, this area was not cleaned and you can see that the markings are missing in that area. The same here in this light colored section. And you see that the markings are also missing from this area. Take a look here along this line and here along this line and check this out. And throughout this picture, you can see that uh, the, the trend is that the places in which receive cleaning, probably none more apparent than here, you can see that cleaning started here and ended here. And look how intact this line is perfectly intact while the lines on either side are nearly completely removed at least say 90% gone. Take a look at another slide. Here we have some yellow markings. Um, a surface preparation process was used on my right side, top of your screen, and here on the bottom uh, markings were just applied over the concrete surface. Now, in this surface, you can see that there's really not any real apparent dirt or sediments, and yet the paint adhered to something other than the concrete and eventually uh, let loose. Uh, once more, you see some markings on a different section of the roadway, but the marking on this side is entirely intact, while the marking on this side obviously is missing uh, big gaps of the material. So in preparing with water blasting, you remove the dirt, the sediments, the tar or curing compound that the paint or thermal might otherwise adhere to. Um, and also you improve the surface profile. You give that material more peaks and valleys to which it can grab onto and adhere over time. The bottom line is, that you will radically improve the longevity of your markings by properly preparing the surface ahead of time. Even when applying over existing markings, there's plenty of evidence out there to suggest that you'll see a radical improvement to the longevity and visibility of those markings over time if you clean the paint or thermoplastic prior to applying your new markings. Thank you.